hey, Java developers, and probably even operation folks as well. In this video, we will go over all the noteworthy security updates that arrived in JDK24. This is one of the three videos dedicated to the JDK24 release notes. The other videos cover the changes for developers and operations and are already available. Check the description for the links. This video also includes JBS tickets that were not publicly disclosed prior to the release of JDK24 as they represented a security vulnerability. In many cases, this might also be a security vulnerability in JDK versions earlier than JDK23, so make sure to upgrade to the latest critical patch update or CPU release for the JDK version you are using. In the bottom right hand corner will be the JEP or JBS ID for the current issue I am covering and in the description will be the link for the JEPS and JBS homepages. This can allow easy lookup for the issues you'd like to learn more about. With that said, let's get into the security changes in JDK24. There are a few JEPS that relate to security in JDK24. JEPS 496 and 497 introduced the Quantum Resistance Module Lattice Base Key Encapsulation Mechanism and Digital Signature Algorithm. As quantum computers slowly become a reality, with several companies recently announcing quantum chips around the time this video is being recorded, organizations will need to start taking steps to secure themselves against quantum-enabled hacking. This is obviously a complex subject. Luckily, my colleague Anna Maria recently published a video on these JEPs, so check it out to learn more. JEP 486 permanently disables the security manager. The security manager APIs will remain available, but definitely start executing on migration plans. For additional details, be sure to read the JEP. JEP 478 adds the key derivation function API as a preview feature. Once again, Anna Maria has a video on this subject. Give it a watch to learn more if you're interested in this. There are several new security features added in the JDK24 release. The Java Security Properties Files has added the ability to include files using the include keyword and the path to file. Included files are added in line at the inclusion point. Include can no longer be used as a property name. The goal of this change it is to make it easier to manage multiple JDKs. Check JDK 8319333 for a guide on usage. A new section for the PSS parameter spec algorithm names has been added to the Java Security Standard Algorithm Names specification. This section lists the standard hash and message generation function algorithms that can be used, that can be specified when initializing the, an RSA SSA PSS signature. The Sun PKCS 11 provider has been enhanced to support four new AES CTS transformations. For additional details on this change, be sure to check the JBS issue. A new system property, JDK TLS server new session ticket, sets the number of TLS 1.3 resumption tickets sent by a JSSE server per session. The default value is one, but can be set between zero and 10. TLS cipher suites can be disabled with the JDK TLS disabled algorithm property using one of the one or more quoted wildcard characters starting with TLS underscore. For example, TLS underscore RSA underscore disables all cipher suites that start with TLS underscore RSA underscore. There is only one noteworthy removal regarding security features. The Jindy property java.naming.rmi security manager is no longer supported because the security manager has been disabled. There are a number of other minor updates. These could be small additions or changes in behavior introduced in JDK24. On Windows, the process builder has been expanded to recognize all characters in the Java lane character is space char would return as true. Check JBS ticket JDK836910 for additional details. New default limits have been added to the HTTP in the JDK. The JDK built-in implementation of the legacy URL protocol handled for HTTP, HTTP URL connection, and the new HTTP client in the module Java Net HTTP now has a default limit of 384 kilobytes for the maximum response header size they will accept from a remote party. 
This limit can be changed with the JDK HTTP max header size property with a negative or zero value interpreted as no limit. And a protocol exception will be thrown if the limit passed. There are a few other properties that have been updated as a result of this change. Check the JBS issue for more details. And the JDK Java text message format now has a implementation limit for the argument index pattern element. The hard limit for the value is 10,000. If an argument index value is equal to or exceeds the upper limit, an illegal argument exception will now be thrown by message format constructors and the apply pattern and format methods. Attempting to deserialize a message format object with an argument index value at or over the limit will throw an invalid object exception. These two root certificates on screen have been added to the CA Trust Store. The performance of the message die sets implementations that belong to the SA3 family have been improved by 6 to 27%, depending on the digested message length and on the platform used. An additional 30 to 40% can be experienced on AVX 512 capable platforms due to new intrinsic implementations on that platform. The X509 encoded message format for HSS LMS public keys have been, has been updated to align with the latest standard outline RFC 9708. Notably, the additional octet string wrapping around the public key value has been removed. For compatibility, public encoding generated by earlier JDK releases are still recognized. The local computer key store is accessed using a cert store maximum allowed flag. Since this store is typically managed by administrators for security reasons, processes are only given read-only access to specific private keys. By opening the store in read-only mode, non-elevated processes can now securely use these keys without requiring elevator permissions. The JDK will stop trusting TLS server certificates issued after November 11, 2024 and anchored by interest root certificates in line with similar plans announced by Google and Mozilla. The list of affected certificates includes certificates branded as a firm trust, which are managed by interest. TLS certificates issued on or before November 11, 2024 will continue to be trusted until they expire. For more on this, please check the JBS issue. The Java doc for SSL session context has been reworded to make it clear that when the timeout limit is exceeded for a session, the object is marked so that future connections cannot resume or rejoin the session. Active sessions can continue to be used so as long as resume and rejoin operations are not attempted. The TLS RSA cipher suites have been disabled by default using the new JDK TLS disabled algorithm property mentioned in new features section. Check the JBS issue for additional details. If an entry is removed from a signed JAR file, there is no mechanism to detect that it has been removed from the JAR file API since the get JAR entry method returns null as if the entry had never existed. With this change, the JAR signer verify command analyzes the signature file and if some sections do not have matching file entries, it will print out a warning. Users can further find out the names of these entries by adding the verbose option. UDP preference limit in KRB5 conf setting to control how the KDC rec message is sent if the size of the message is greater than the value of UDP preference limit TCP will be used, otherwise UDP will be used. Before this change, setting it to zero is ignored and a message is sent with UDP. With this change, setting it to zero forces the message to be sent with TCP. This, is, this behavior is consistent with other Kerberos 5 vendors. Okay, that is it for the security changes coming in JDK24, and that probably mostly does it for our JDK24 content as well. We will now be turning our attention towards JDK25, which I'm guessing will be pretty heavily anticipated by the community, as that will be a release vendors will provide long-term support for, which is pretty important for security reasons as well. So expect another video like this in September. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Until then, happy securing your applications.